at long last and <laughs> much requested here is my video about me having my three morpheus eight treatments now i've started it here now this is obviously the after but we've got some really great before and afters coming up i'm going to take you back to the beginning introduce you to dr alexis granite who i think you know anyway because i've done lives with her and i've done videos with her before you're going to see the treatment in process <laughs> you're going to see me numbed up and ready to go this is a radio frequency micro needling treatment and I had three over the course of about four and a half months and I am now probably six to seven weeks after my last one and I promise I've had no other treatment at all absolutely no clinical treatment at all I think I probably had a little bit of Botox before I started and then that was it so absolutely no fillers to be honest, I even scaled back a lot on my skincare. I wanted to really put Morpheus 8 to the test to see if it would make a visible difference to lift my skin. Because I know what you're all asking. Will it lift this? Once you hit your 50s, you want it to lift this. Now, word of warning. I was like, has it really worked? And then I saw the befores and afters. So stay tuned. This is my story of Morpheus 8. Don't worry. You stay there, Lucy. Yeah. You're an intricate part of this, Lucy. <laughs> So here I am ready to have my Morpheus 8, the infamous Judy Murray treatment. I'm going to take all this makeup off because I've been filming this morning and then I'm going to have numbing cream applied. Right, okay. I promise you this is just the numbing cream. This will be left on for half an hour and then I'm ready to go. Very attractive. <laughs> That's interesting. Can I turn it up a little bit? Warm. What a weird Isn't feeling. It weird? Yeah. It's a little bit like, are you filming? Mm. It's a little bit like um, you get a little tiny sort of punch almost, which is what the need when the needles mm. go in. And then it gets and hot it gets and a little hot. bit stingy. Some areas are definitely more sensitive than others. I'm not looking forward to having it done around my lips, put it like that. Yeah, that'll be a lighter setting. So it won't be quite so. Is it fascinating to watch now? So the person filming me has just had it done. And it's very interesting to watch somebody have it done. She was brilliant, super brave. She's doing me a favor. But it's very interesting watching somebody have it done. It's almost worth watching mm. than having it done. And she's not even that red. I'll show you afterwards anyway. So what's the secret now? So it's this, and then I wait how many days to the next one? So it should be about four to six weeks apart. Okay, and it's course of three. Yes, it's generally done across the course of three. Um, and then we vary the depth depending on where we are in the skin and then also on the face and the neck and then also kind of level of skin damage. I mean, obviously you have great skin, um, but it can be done on the body too. Uh, this is the treatment Kim Kardashian was having on her body. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> which is what, that and Judy Murray, which is like shows you the different sorts of yeah. people that are treated. Tell me why you, because I think you're a really discerning dermatologist, <laughs> anesthetic doctor. <laughs> You don't easily get impressed by machines. Tell me why you're impressed by this. And no, carry, I, you can carry I mean, on to be honest, I just think the results are really great. The The technology is really good. So the idea is that that little pinchy feeling that you're getting, that's the, I'm going to do a little bit deeper there, but I'm going to go down here. Um, that is the needling. And then obviously the heat is the radio frequency. And, and I've had it done on myself. I thought the results were great. I really do. How many needles are going in each time? So this is a 24. Oh, that's hot. Okay. okay. So, yeah, my numbing, no, my numbing cream hasn't okay, gone down sorry. that far. <laughs> <laughs> when you feel the edges where your numbing cream doesn't go, you know how good numbing cream is. We're at the outer edge of the numbing, I think. Um, so this is the 24. Oh, ow. Sorry. Yeah, there's no numbing cream down there. All right. Well, we did numb oh. here. Should I turn it down a little bit and okay, see if maybe. it's more comfortable? And also, I know it sounds weird, but I can almost feel my skin tighten. Mm -hmm. Is that my imagination? Is it kind of satisfying? <laughs> Strangely, yes. 
Okay, well, I turned it down a little bit. Let's see how you feel. So this is a 24 pin. Um, you can use 40 pin on the body, so it covers a bigger area. And if you specifically just want to treat around the eyes, um, you can use a 12, 12 pin, so a smaller head. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, it's around the neck. It's quite hot. Yeah, I can turn it down a little bit if you need me to, so just let me know. The cheek's the least uncomfortable yeah because it's the if you think about the cheek as being a fattier area so um yeah i mean um, i've had lots of different treatments each treatment has a unique feeling it's uncomfortable it's not painful that's what i'd that's say what I would think yeah too. it's not my imagination that that cheek yeah. feels tighter Isn't, well so you might get a, a slight kind of temporary um slight inflammation I tightness yeah, yeah okay. exactly Oh my goodness, no, I'm <laughs> super competitive, you know that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, so. So what's the most recent treatment you've had before this? Well, you do them all, you tell me. <laughs> what did you do? We just did, uh, you rolling? we did, no, we did, yeah, we did Volite. So Volite, which is sort of a skin booster of um, reticulated hyaluronic acid and a little bit of Botox, but really like baby Botox. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, I think that was it. And this pretty. So what do you think, scale of 1 to 10? In some areas, I'd say it's a six or a seven, but on my cheek, like a two. Yeah, good. I'm gonna do a little more here. <laughs> At which point she turns the machine off. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dr. Alexis Granite, the lady that introduced me to Morpheus 8 and did my treatment. So I'm gonna ask her your quick fire rapid questions. What is Morpheus 8? So Morpheus 8 is a treatment for tightening and for texture. So it's a machine-based treatment, an energy-based treatment. Um, and it uses a combination of radio frequency, which goes underneath the skin to tighten, to heat the skin and tighten, and then microneedling um, on the surface of the skin, which is gonna help with that texture and kind of that more superficial um, you know, look and feel of the skin. How many treatments does the average person need? Uh, we usually say three. So three treatments, generally between four and eight weeks apart. And how soon should people start to see difference? And at this point, we'll drop in some of my befores and afters. <laughs> uh, so typically with texture, you'll see an improvement pretty quickly within the first two weeks. Um, and the skin just looks glowier and fresher. But the tightening does take a while. So I say at least three months for tightening. Um, and you'll still see some benefit even after you've done that third treatment. So you're really gonna get that collagen remodeling that's gonna happen well after you finish the course. And then you finished your three over three months. How often do you think somebody might need a top up? Um, so it really depends on the person and sort of how sort of severe necessarily uh, the case is. But I would say um, most people can go at least a year um, without having to do any sort of touch up. And I do have some patients that come back kind of once a year to have a, a little, you know, redo. Um, but the results are really quite long lasting. Any sort of side effects or downtime or any warnings you'd like to give to people? Uh, yes, so there is a bit of a recovery. Um, it You can leave the office after the treatment looking very, very red, which I think you did. Um, and then typically actually that settles very quickly within the first few hours even after the treatment. Um, but what you do sometimes get are little, we call them micro crusts. So they're little scabs, tiny little dots on the skin where the needles have entered. Um, and you can even get almost like a goosebump feeling on the skin, particularly on the neck, again, from the needling. But that all settles very quickly. So usually within a week, that's all gone. So I find that really the downtime is pretty minimal. If someone's very close to your skin, they can see something's happen. But um, typically within that week, you know, you can go out, be out and about. You just might need a little extra cover up. I found those tiny little marks really easy to cover with makeup. Yeah. Really easy. Yeah. Now, Morpheus 8 and filler. Yes. So that's a good point. Uh, I do think because you are really heating the skin um, and deep within the skin um, for the treatment, it can really break down filler more quickly than you'd probably like. So I generally recommend if someone's had recent filler to wait um, quite a while, three to six months before we're gonna do the treatment. Otherwise you've spent a lot of money on something that you're probably gonna break down. 
Um, but if you are thinking about filler and also Morpheus 8, it generally makes sense to do the Morpheus 8 first. And now for my before and afters. So quick question, what do you think? Now, bearing in mind, depending on where you are in the UK, Morpheus 8 can vary dramatically in price in central London. It is really expensive. Do you think it's worth it? There's pretty much zero downtime. It's not a pleasant experience, but it's tolerable. Word of warning, get to the clinic on time. <laughs> Make sure you have that numbing cream on for as long as possible before you have your treatment. The longer it's on, I mean, you ideally need it on for a minimum 45 minutes, but up to an hour. Uh, the better the experience will be, I promise. I've had friends who are younger than me who have said that at various times of their cycle, so maybe just pre a period, it's a little bit more uncomfortable. But I have friends who are tough as old nails. My friend Victoria, who filmed some of this for me, she barely flinches. She's tough. Me, on a scale of probably one to ten, I would say it was an um, uncomfortable seven. Like you get sweaty palms, you really do. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the before and after? I think the main difference I've noticed is an improvement in my skin texture. I did Pilates this morning with absolutely zero makeup on. And the first thing my Pilates instructor said to me was, oh my God, your skin. Like, I only know this skin. I live with this face. But to have somebody who I've only recently just met find out how old I was and then comment on the texture of my skin. So sort of the pores and the slight crepiness. Now, bearing in mind, it does not go very close to the eye. So don't look at the eye area because that's the one area it can't really treat so morpheus 8 what do you think i'll put all the prices all the details down below i'll put the details of alexis granite i'll also put the direct details of where to find your nearest clinic that is my morpheus 8 with some really good befores and afters video so when alexis needs to take my picture can i just check this out look <laughs> I don't so think people realise she's quite as small and perfectly formed as you think she is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>